Thank you all for coming. Uh, I'm Chief Mallory with the Florence Police Department. Uh, this is an update to a mass shooting that we responded to uh, overnight. Officers um, were dispatched to an address on Ridcrest, Ridgecrest Drive in Florence. Uh, report of shots fired around 2.50 a.m. in the morning. Um, when officers arrived, they still heard shots being fired and they um, approached the residents. When they got to the residence, uh, they saw multiple victims and once they got into the residence, the party goers told them that uh, the suspect had fled <clears throat> and gave a vehicle description. Um, other responding officers, um, when they were coming into the neighborhood, saw the vehicle that fit the description, and one of a Florence officer and a deputy from the Boone County Sheriff's Office attempted to stop that vehicle. It fled. Um, a pursuit ensued and went south on 42 into Union and onto Hicks Pike. While driving down Hicks Pike, it's believed that the suspect shooter had. Um, shot himself with the gun that he had and then crashed his vehicle. The shooter was transported to St. Elizabeth, Florence and where he succumbed to his injuries and was pronounced dead at St. E. Florence. Back at the Ridgecrest address, officers um, rendered first aid to several victims and right now we have three victims at UC Medical in Cincinnati that are all stable and appear to um, be able to will, uh, make a full recovery. At the scene as well, there was four that were pronounced deceased at the scene. Um, and I have their names. The four victims are Shane Miller, 20 years old, of Florence, Hayden Rebicki, 20 years old, of Ellesmere, and Delaney Erie, 19 years old, of Burlington, and Melissa Parrott, 44 years old, of Florence. The reason everybody was at the house was for a 21, a birthday for Miss Parrott's 21-year-old son. The shooter, who is identified as Chase Garvey of Florence, who is also 20 years old. He's known to the party goers. Um, so when the officers got in there and they, the victims and the party goers told him, told him that um, the suspect had fled, they identified him as Chase Garvey. So um, right now, our crime scene and detectives are still working the scenes and the investigation. But our hearts and prayers go out to the families of the victims and we're really um, hoping to support them in any way that we can as a department, as a city. Um, and I want to thank the Boone County Sheriff's Department for their assistance because we are doing the crime scene at Ridgecrest and they handled the crime scene after the accident down in Union. Um, so that was the update. Is there any questions that I can possibly answer from you guys? Chief, you seem emotional right now. Can you tell me why? <laughs> We've never dealt with this before. I know it's going on throughout the nation, but this is the first time that we've had a mass shooting um, in Florence. So yeah, it is very emotional. And um, you know, my emotions are for the victims, their families, the officers that responded, and everybody that was touched um, by this situation. Any indication of a motive at this point? No, not right now. That's still under investigation. Like I said, he's known to the other party goers. He wasn't, I don't believe he was invited to the party, 
but um, there is a relationship. We just don't know that right now. Previous contacts with Mr. Gardner in terms of other arrests that we've seen? Our department has not. Um, I believe Boone County may have, and he is a um, convicted felon on a sex crime in the past and doesn't appear to tie it into this at all. <clears throat> Chief, you kind of hit on it a second ago. Uh, for your office, you walking up onto this immediately in rendering first aid. You described, you said some of the victims again encountered before getting into the residence. Two questions, if I can. One, what's in place to help your officers deal with something like this? I mean, this is something that none of us have seen. Right. And secondly, can you kind of walk us through again just where you see victims again outside, inside, uh, you know, young people in the party, teenagers to young adults to 21 year olds per day. Sure. So, you know, again, this is a horrific emotional scene for so many folks. Correct. And again, just kind of talk about what the city was able to do for your officers trying to de escalate from this. Mm -hmm. They've got children. Correct. Yeah. Um, some of our officers aren't much you know, older than the victims. So as far as a department and the city, we'll do a debriefing with all the officers that responded and offer any assistance um, to talk with peer support, peer support or um, any medical assistance or anything like that that they would need going forward. So. And then you can kind of talk us through the scene a little bit. I know that's challenging, I know that's difficult, but again, you say that your officers encounter victims, uh, critical shot outside. Mm -hmm. Then they enter the residence. Uh, can you just kind of state of mind what it was? What's kind of well, th this is what they're trained for, unfortunately. They got to do their job, and they, they did it exceptional. Um, you know, when they got on scene, there were two victims out front of the residence. And they went in to try and find the shooter. Once they got in there, they found people that were injured. And um, when they were told that the shooter had fled, um, they went ahead and secured the scene as much as they could and performed first aid on several of the victims in the residence. And <clears throat> like I said, we train on this, hoping that it would never happen. But unfortunately, we've been touched like so many other departments and cities throughout the nation. And our, our training for our guys and men and women really kicked in and they did an exceptional job. And then, you know, once all that was done, our crime scene um, and detective unit has come in and has not missed a beat on trying to get this all cleared up. Body camp, dash camps. We did, our officers do wear body cams, not dash cams. That body cam can be made available to us in terms of their response, because again, I think that says, speaks volumes to the way your officers are able to professionally secure a scene, the way your officers are able to, of course, comfort these young people, a uh, mother just being shot and uh -huh. killed. Uh, would, that, would that body cam video be available at times? At, at some point it may be, or well, that might be down the road. Okay. I'm sorry. Just for clarity, I'm sorry. Woman, she she was the homeowner, yes, ma'am, and then it was a birthday party for her 21-year-old son. Could you confirm the address of the home too? 2673 Ridgecrest Drive in Florence. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Chief, is there any word at this time? Did it was the Mr. Garvey at the party and an argument ensued? Did he show up to the party and just open fire? We don't believe he was a party goer at, at any time. He just showed up, evidently, from what the preliminary investigation shows. Okay. Okay. You guys have um, been there earlier that night, right? I believe there was a call um, just about loud music or loud party, but nothing uh, came of that. Couple hours later. Mm -hmm. right. so, again, our prayers go to the family and the victims, and uh, anything that we can do to support them, we are willing to do as a department, a city. Um, so, thank you guys for coming. And if there's any other updates, we'll um, put them out through a press uh, release to you guys. Okay. Thank you very much. Chief Logistics.